Hey there everyone, welcome to the Net Teach Kevin Your Thing session. Today we are going to be learning about 3D modeling with Sarah. How are you doing Sarah? Hi, I'm good. How are you doing? I'm um, also Happy New Year by the way. Yeah, same, same. Happy New Year. So yes, um, before we get started into knowing what 3D modeling is and how to do that in React, let's have an introduction like who Sarah is, what you do, what you've been doing. Yeah. Yeah, so my name is Sarah. I am uh, originally from Portugal. I live in Berlin. And um, I've been a programmer for, I think, about like nine years at this point. I've mostly been doing front end. Uh, I know also do some Rust, but I've mostly been doing front end most of my career. I, during the pandemic, when everyone got a hobby because like we couldn't leave the house, I started learning a little bit about 3D and Blender and stuff and tried to implement that into like, you know, websites. So I found that something that people find very daunting. Uh, so I'm, I'm always really excited to share it because it's really not that hard. I mean, it is hard because all programming is hard, but it's not as hard as, you know, people think. Yeah. Uh, I mean, in my spare time, I, I mean, I do a lot of conferences as well, but I also really enjoy watching, uh, movies, mostly B movies, like, you know, those kind of movies that are like so bad that they're good. And I really also enjoy playing video games. Mm. Nice, nice. Thank you for sharing. Um, yeah, yeah and Sarah's been doing a lot of awesome stuff with React. I, th I think you do have a book on React, right? Yes, I wrote a book on React. I'm not really like announcing it anymore because I need to rewrite a bunch mm -hmm. of stuff because it's already like, it's been, uh, I think, two years. And you know that mm -hmm. when it's been two years, I promise I have not been in a fight. I <laughs> fell from my scooter, which oh, so really looks like I've been in a fist fight. Yeah, some which knuckles. Makes me, it does. <laughs> you should have seen the other guy. Yeah. Which was the floor, but sure. Uh, yeah, so I haven't really been announcing it because I need to rewrite a bunch of stuff. But I did write a book about React, like in terms of my opinions, like the things that I used to use, because I feel like it's mm -hmm. kind of hard to find that on the internet in general. People are kind of like shy away from giving their opinions. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I did a book on that about like two years ago. It's called The Opinionated Guide to React. Mm -hmm. You can buy it. I will update it. But right now I haven't been doing a lot of like promotion on it because of it. It okay. feels wrong. I don't know. Yeah, and it's 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 fine. I've, I'm pretty sure there are some of the opinions in there that are still valid, but I'm actually looking forward to you having like an update. Yeah, I'm going to include stuff like TC, TCRP, for example, which I think is a really good framework for building APIs with Next. I don't know mm -hmm. if anyone has really used it. And it's just a lot about updating the code samples and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Most of the stuff is still valid, but it's like needs updating because it's been two years. Yeah, definitely. Also, like I still mention Gatsby and I haven't heard about Gatsby in a while. Yeah, me It's too. that kind of stuff, you know, like... <laughs> Yeah, definitely. So yeah, so back to topic, um, 3D modeling, what is it? Because I wouldn't kid you, I don't, I think I know what it is conceptually, but I have yeah. no idea what it is. So what is 3D right, modeling? So, like, so 3D modeling is basically the idea of cre like creating a model on like, so how can I, like video games, for example, like you all, <laughs> models all uh, characters and i mean assuming they're 3d video games mm -hmm. are done with 3d modeling so there's a bunch of software to do that i use blender blender is free and open source it's like from a company from the netherlands i think i think they're originally from amsterdam mm -hmm. and so the idea is that from simple shapes and sculpting for example like you can also like sculpt small things like you can create pretty much anything mm -hmm. and uh you have like uh pretty like good lighting and stuff like that like it's just kind of like the idea is to mimic reality in a way okay right? mm -hmm. and yeah so then you can also bring these models that you create to the web or you can make video games with it or you can make movies or mm -hmm. you can just like take photos of it like i think one of the more like besides pixar movies one of the more known movies that was all made in 3d is avatar mm -hmm. i actually am not seen avatar because i feel like it was only made to show the fact that you could make a movie in 3d Mm. And like, I didn't really enjoy the story very much, but mm -hmm. Avatar was all made in Maya, which is another 3D yeah. software. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Cool. So yeah. So how let's, I think we should, this is the perfect time to just get into it because it seems as if it's not something we could just talk about and people will grasp what we're talking about. So let's show some code, shall we? 
Yeah, sure. Uh, mm -hmm. So what we're going to be using is called Reactory Fiber. Okay. Um, yeah, you're sharing my screen? Cool. Yeah. Okay, so Reactory Fiber is basically like a wrapper around 3 js So 3JS, yeah, let's start with 3JS. Let's let's do like a cascade of things. Mm -hmm. Or we can start with Blender, but my computer will just overheat probably. Okay. So no. 3JS is a JavaScript library for creating 3D stuff in the web. But 3JS is very kind of like... Okay, like, like kind of like jQuery in where it's very like to create something, it's very imperative, mm -hmm. right? So like to create the something small, you need a, like, it's kind of like a background layer. Mm -hmm. So then React Fiber is something that works on top of it and makes it way easier and way more like React way for you to create stuff for the web. Mm -hmm. So I generally use React Fiber. I find it simpler. And I don't think it's just because I have experience with React. I think in general, it is a simpler way of doing things because it's just like an abstraction over uh, 3JS. And um, yeah, so what we're going to be using is React 3 Fiber. I can show you Blender if I, I usually use a, um, like I have a Linux computer with like, you know, all the RGB lights and all of like the mm -hmm. NVIDIA graphics cards mm -hmm. to use Blender. But you, like you can use it on a Mac, it's just like really sad and slow. Oh. But I can show like, yeah, it's really sad and slow, but like, I can show like the basics of Blender. So like, if you open this up, it's like very daunting. It's kind of like, I don't know if anyone has ever opened, like if you ever open like any game development software, like Unity or something, that's also like very like, why yeah. the fuck are there so many things in my yeah, screen? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, so. Let's say if you delete everything. So the idea is that you have a bunch of like meshes and meshes are things like cubes and planes and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. let's say that you want to make like kind of a crappy donut. So you have a, thor a thor torus? torus and so you have these segments. So as you can see, like everything is like split, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. these are the number of segments. So if, you, if I put this down, you can see that it's now like a triangle. The more I put the like better it looks, mm -hmm. but the more my computer will cry. Oh. So yeah, so it's kind of like I don't have to find a like a nice way of doing things. So this thing is the same. So you can do this, but you also have like the radius to make it smaller or bigger and the minor radius. So let's say if you want to make a donut, it would probably be something like this. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. That's a good okay, looking so donut. That's a good looking donut. So, mm -hmm. but it looks kind of blocky. So there's yeah. something called Shade Smooth. Oh. And what Shade Smooth does yeah, is kind of be like inter yeah exactly it kind of interpolates the space between things it, it looks kind of weird sometimes if you look at from the side and that's because it doesn't have enough points mm -hmm. so one thing that you can do is there is something called subdivision surface which is somewhere here and this basically like increases the points that mm -hmm. uh mesh has like the points are called technically the vertices but it doesn't matter they're basically like little points right. and so there is this thing so that you can see like all of the points that you have that are this. And if I show this here, you can see that it like, oh, actually it's not showing. You're just gonna have to trust me on that one. Yeah. <laughs> that it doubles the you. points. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's basically the idea. So let me go back to where we were. Okay, cool. So let's say like you want to have a little, you know, um, the thing you put on top of the donut. The, um, not the sprinkle. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do it and you can, you can know what I mean. Yeah. So if I click seven, it goes to the top view and I can like select everything and it will only select it until there. And if I click shift D, you will like do the, like it basically copies the one thing and like pastes it basically. Mm -hmm. So you can see that now I only have this top part, mm -hmm. which one thing that I can do is give it some thickness. So there's like an extrude thing here. Uh, where's the extrude? Uh, it's not extrude. What was the name of it? Solidify. So if okay. I do solidify and I move it up, just so you can see a little bit more up, you can see that now it has like some thickness to it. Mm -hmm. It's like if I increase it, you can see that like it does that. You can also do and put it to the outside. So that's when you do what it goes to the outside. So now if I put this at the bottom, uh, uh, one thing that is never fun about doing 3D is trying to see like, is it actually like on top of it or is it like, oh, there we go. I guess that's, that's good enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now one thing that you can do is just like grab random points out of here. So you click one point and then click command and then not command. 
and sh no, it should be command. What is happening? Oh, it's just random points, and you grab it, and mm. you can create like you know, make it like look more organic and stuff. Mm -hmm. So something like that. Grab this one. Do it like this. Okay, something like this, so you can make it look, you know, a little bit more organic, and then you make it a little bit bigger, and you have a really crappy donut. Still, still a good donut, from where I'm sitting. <laughs> and there you go. And yeah. Uh, yeah, so the only thing is that like this thing is kind of eating it up. So I can come here, and if I click Control, if I click, it's not Control. What is it? Is it Control Shift? Mm. I kind of forgot the keys because I've been traveling for so long. Okay, it's Command. Yeah. So if you click Command and Shift, you can select all of these things and then like push it inside so that you can still see the thing on the inside. Mm. Yeah, and now you have a donut. So mm -hmm. but if I put it to render, it's all black because there's no light. So like a bunch of like doing 3Ds trying to figure out the lighting. So Command Z and I can add like a plane, scale it like 20, rotate it. Yeah, I don't need to rotate it, it's fine. And then I can select like these edges and do an easy. And I promise you, I know what I'm doing. And then like Command B will create like a bevel thing. Mm -hmm. so, like, this is something that I actually don't need light to do because I have to, like every time you kind of have to do this to see what you're doing. And then when I put a light, you're going to be like, oh, okay, that's what it did. Wow. So that's what it did. Like it created like a background for it. Mm -hmm. So then you can add like lights to it. I don't want to add this light. I want to add like um area light, which is basically like, you know, like the lights we have in real life, I guess. Mm -hmm. And as uh, X, move it right to the side, rotate it a little bit, see what it is, and give it away more strength. So this is like 10, I'm going to give it like 100. Wow. And do the same thing, put it here, rotate it, and I'll change the color a little bit. Mm. And yeah, so you can see that like, a lot of it is about like giving it some like cool ass lighting. Mm -hmm. Like most of the work is like actually just lighting. Right. And it's the one thing that I'm like more terrible at because it's like a real pain to like rotate these lights. Mm -hmm. Like what is this? I can't, I can't rotate it properly. But yeah, just to get some like color in the background and yeah. Mm -hmm. So then you can give it like, you know, colors and stuff like that. But this is like the idea of 3D modeling. So it's mm -hmm. like from like a cube or a torus or something, you create something that looks super different. Mm -hmm. So if I want to make this like thing red and just rotate it a little bit on the, so something like this and then rotate it on the Z to be more facing me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the idea. Uh, there is like two types of like render engines and render engines are basically the thing that like actually shows and cycles is the one that's actually like supposed to be more realistic which is like now what we're trying to do but might as well and this is also the one that like kills your computer oh no so no. yeah yeah it completely murders like a macbook like it just oh. murders it completely yeah, uh, you also have like denoising for the viewport which is the better way okay yeah so this is the idea of blender right like, this is a very, like, simplified overview. Like, there's obviously, like, way more that you can do. But we're not going to use this model. So we're just going to, like, I just wanted to show, like, kind of how Blender works and how you can, like, make some really easy, like, small things that make you feel like you created something, I mm -hmm. guess. It's cool. So, yeah. Like it. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, like, hard to learn, to be fair. Like, Blender is not something that's easy to learn. Mm -hmm. Like, it does take a while to get the hang of it because it's a very complicated software and it's also like it's honestly kind of buggy as well a lot of the time so you don't really know what's happening really mm -hmm. that much uh -huh. like the like the subreddit of blender is just like why is this black i don't understand <laughs> yeah it's like, a lot of people just mm -hmm. being like what the hell is happening i don't understand this yeah um, that... yeah. yeah any questions yeah, uh, it's you. I feel you are amazing with Blender because I did try it once. I could not even do a single thing because I was like, okay, what am I doing here? I do not understand the concept of lighting because I had some ideas for like, you know, 3D movies and stuff. I just want to see something, but it wasn't really the best place for a newbie like me to just get my hands dirty. But so it was a very, I don't think I even have it anymore on my machine. 
Yep, I don't have it anymore. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a really complicated software. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not something that you can just like pick up. Like, it's really hard to use. Yeah. Like, I it would... used to be way worse. Like, if oh. I if I do like Blender two point seven, like if I go on images, like it used to look like this. So oh. technically, like it looks better. Like it's way more usable right now. Wow. But it's still like a very complicated software. Yeah. I think that's the that's the main thing. Like there's a lot of words in it that you need to understand what they do and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I would give anyone like I would tell anyone to give it a try. There's like a really good like donut tutorial. If you, will you make like a really good donut? Mm-hmm. Uh, that is that is really really good. Like if anyone wants to give it a try, a try in Blender. Like I would definitely tell you to try the donut tutorial. Okay. You can just Google donut tutorial. And yeah, I'll try. we're not going to be using mm-hmm. Blender because my computer will cry, yeah. but we're going to be doing some like React 3 Fiber. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to create a small like uh, template here of, yeah, just React. And we need to install a couple of stuff as usual. So we need to install 3JS. Three, I guess it is three. I guess it's not 3JS. And we need to install React 3 Fiber. We can also install types, but no, actually, that's useful. React 3 Fiber. And the other one is types at React 3. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the types for, for, okay, that makes sense. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. So the idea of React 3 Fiber is that it has like, it has its own, like, you can create a canvas and it has its own components to create stuff like cubes and stuff like that mm-hmm. so we're just going to mostly be following like this tutorial so, so you can see you can create a canvas and stuff like that and then mm-hmm. what do you need to do for that so let's first create a canvas and okay canvas then that comes from react fiber or it doesn't come from anything thank you code sandbox Okay, so it doesn't come from anywhere. Wait, give me a second. Imports. React yeah, 3 Fiber. Okay, so that doesn't have anything, as you can clearly see. And if I write something in it, it doesn't work. And it doesn't work because, like, React 3 Fiber isn't expecting text. It's expecting, like, is. Oh, okay, I'm trying to, like, oh my God, I'm having issues, man. Wait. It's- Okay, there got we go. it. Text is yeah. not allowed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's expecting like a mesh, and a mesh is like a cube or something. So for that, we can say mesh. And a mesh itself needs to have two things. So first, it needs a it needs a type of mesh, like a cube or something. So we can do, I think it's like it's not cube texture, it's um box geometry. Okay, that's the point. So box geometry and the arts are honestly, I just Google this every time, but like the first thing is the, um, like the size of it. So you can see that there is something there. Mm -hmm. Uh, So the first thing that we can do is also come here and we can scale it and we can do like, I think it has to be a, yeah, I think it has to be a number 1.2 or something like that. I don't think it actually did anything, but it will in the future, I promise. No, okay, it did something. Mm-hmm. Uh, and in the canvas, you can also have like a background color, which I think is just, is it color? Yeah, it's color. And let's pick a color. I don't know, where's my color picker? No, that's the font picker. This is the color picker. Okay, this this looks good mm. enough. Mm-hmm. Mm, okay, it's not color. Uh, what is it? This is why I have this open. Yeah. I mean, there's also the fact that like we can just do. Is it BG? No, it's not. We can also what we can do actually. This is kind of like we don't have to actually do this because we can do this in in CSS. Mm-hmm. So I can come here and do canvas, and then do background. And then do this, and you can see that the background of the canvas is now this color. But you can also see like it doesn't fit the whole screen, mm-hmm. and we kind of want that. So let's do height 
108 and with 100 VH, VW. No, that's a P, not a W. Okay. And that apparently did not do anything, which is kind of weird. But so body HTML margin zero, padding zero, and these two babies here. And it's just like not doing the thing. Let's see. Oh, okay, yeah. it was just slow. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. Because that was going to be really awkward. Okay, <laughs> so then we also like, we need like, um, you know, like a, a material. So there's a bunch of materials. And so there's a mesh basic material, which is like the more normal material, but mm -hmm. um, uh, no, a mesh standard material is a more common material. So if I do mesh standard material and I just close it, you can see that it's black because we didn't give it a color. So then you can say color equals, and let me go here again because there's some pretty colors in this website apparently mm -hmm. and we can make it like this for example and now it doesn't it doesn't now work is it not color i think it is color it is color yeah. standard material color yeah but it's taking like a string not hexadecimal is that it I think no, it should be able to do this, like color red. Hmm. Oh wait, I think I'm missing something kind of uh no I'm not. No, yeah. I'm not. Color box position, no 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 scale. Uh no, I am not missing anything. Yeah. How about you try orange? Let's see. If the is looking for like a particular set of color or something. Hmm. No, 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 no. Okay, no, no, no. This is no, this makes sense. I'm sorry, I forgot. Let me go back. So the thing is, this is black because we don't have lighting. Oh. This actually makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Sorry about that. I forgot about yeah. that. But if you don't have lighting, the kind of exact same thing that happens in Blender mm -hmm. happens here. Oh. So now if I put an ambient light, which is like a light that just goes everywhere, you can see that like it works. Yeah, yeah sorry about that. <laughs> And you can also change the intensity of this light and do like, uh, like if we, if we do like 50, you can see that like, it's just white because the light is so strong, mm -hmm. but I want like 0.3, for example. And mm. you can see that it's not as strong or like 0.5 or something like that. You can also change the color to be like blue if you want. And mm. that basically makes it black, but yeah. Yeah. So do like 2 But yeah. 0 0.5 and mm -hmm. okay another thing that you can do to the mesh for example is to like you can rotate it so if you pass a rotate rotation so this takes an array and it's an array of like x y z mm -hmm. and if you ask me to remember which one is which i will not remember because it's different in blender mm -hmm. but by default it's zero 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 but it doesn't work actually on degrees it works on like math.py which is equal to one it's really confusing and you can just copy it out from places mm -hmm. honestly mm -hmm. so you just do like math.py and so let me divide it by like three or something and you can see that it like rotates but it's like not mm -hmm. it's, it actually looks fine this time i didn't do yeah. okay, math.py and let me put this in the negative space cool so wow. that's cool we mm -hmm. have a little cube and yeah uh, mm -hmm. We should have like better lighting because like right now we're using this ambient light and this ambient light what it does is that it doesn't first of all it doesn't have any shadows which is fine because that's fine but it also like it just like casts light exactly the same way everywhere and that's not what we want we kind of want something like this which is way better oh, so now yeah. a point light is kind of like like a light that like you know it's like a light that we have in real life mm -hmm. okay so let's say that you want to okay i don't know what do you want to do to, to it let's add shadows so okay. shadows by default are false so you can do like shadows but then that that still isn't going to do anything because we need a new mesh mm -hmm. so if i do mesh we can actually do plain so there is something called react 3 dre which is helpers for react 3 fiber react dre and what that does is that it gives us things like a plane or like a box so we don't have to like you know do this 
this every time, so I can just import a plane now, I think. Mm, the, um, the, uh, the TypeScript thing isn't working very well. Reactivate the stand, you try, if you find it, there we go. And you have something like a plane. Uh, oh, calm down. Mm -hmm. so, there we go. So you can just like create a plane like this, and that comes from React Retry. TypeScript is not working. Oh, okay, cool. So basically I made a plane, but you can't see it because it's like hidden behind it. So let's make mm -hmm. it like way bigger. So if I make it like 2020, you can see that there's like a plane there, but it's not in the right position. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's rotation. So let's see, first of all, which is the rotation we want to give, because I want to make it like under the, um, the cube. Meta. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So divided by two, what does that do? That does not do what we want. Rotate Y. That may also not do what we want as soon as it loads. There we go. Mm, okay, let me just do rotation. And now you need to pass three, zero, zero. Okay. And now we have completely, we have apparently completely lost it. Yes, we have. We will... For some reason. Wait, mm -hmm. no, this may actually, no, this may actually be what we want. So let me do position. And so by default, the position is the same thing. So it's like zero, zero, zero. And, but we want it to be like down, right? Mm -hmm. So. I should have made a box so that I could see it. Mm -hmm. Now that I think about it, it should have been a box. Okay. Box, box. Okay, uh -huh. so it is there. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is there. Uh, and the position, let me see which one is the correct one. No, this is, this is the correct one. We don't need these two. So I just want to change it on the like Y position, well, which yeah. is the one that goes from top to bottom. Mm -hmm. And you can see that it's right there. And so now we also need another one here, which is for the height, and that's fine. And let me just make this bigger, so 50 and 50. And let's just pretend it fills the whole screen, right? Mm -hmm. So I want to add the same color as I have for the background. So if I go to the CSS, let me just copy the color I have. Okay, copy this color, close this again. And now I can, I think it's like material color, something like that. And then I can just copy this. Yeah, and it's kind of like gone, and that's because like that's kind of what we want because we want to have shadows. Mm -hmm. So one thing that we, we need to say is that this mesh like receives shadows and casts shadows. Mm -hmm. I don't think it actually needs to cast, but yeah. And then this one will like cast shadow, and this point light will also cast shadows. And this does not need to cast shadows this just needs to receive shadows and it should be working yet it is not mm -hmm. um which is pretty common i would say yeah for the shadows thing <laughs> the shadows thing is not very like i always have issues with the shadows is there a shadow mm -hmm. so they have like a bunch of examples which is really good and the search is really good for the website mm -hmm. So that's really, really, really useful. Yeah. So they have like a bunch of examples with like shadows and stuff, which is really useful, but it should just be like shadows. Mm -hmm. And then the directional light. Oh, it's like, oh, never mind. So th I think yeah, the shadow. point light doesn't cast shadows. It's a directional light that casts shadows. Directional light. No, it's not, but mm -hmm. it should be. Wait, so I think it's material. I do. 
I think the issue is that this material doesn't actually receive shadows, mm -hmm. which is kind of annoying. Does that make like there are some materials who don't actually like receive shadows? So let me try to do this and paste it in here, like so. Uh, and do this color goes in here, and this gets removed. And these Rx go in here. And it should be get receive shadow. Yeah, it's the material that doesn't get shadows. Yeah. Uh, so now you, you can see that like we have shadows. So if I push this a little bit more down, you can see that the shadow like follows it around. Mm -hmm. So like even if you even if you like move this, the shadow will move with it. So like if you wanna if you want to change the position of this, we can use like the common like use ref. So I can say like cube equals use ref. And then this mesh will have a ref of cube. And then there's something from Reactive Fiber called use frame. And basically what this does is that it runs on every single frame. Mm -hmm. And I need to import it from Reactive Fiber. So it runs like 30 times a second, I think, depending on how fast your computer is. Okay. So like, I'm not going to, uh, hooks can only be used. Okay, this makes sense. So the problem of this is that we need to put this in the index, like this canvas thing, because we're trying mm -hmm. to use the hooks inside of it. So this yeah. needs to be in here. Okay. This oh yeah, this always happens to me, but like, it's pretty common. And import canvas. That makes sense because I need to do this. Mm -hmm. Undetermined JSS count count. True. Yeah. But now it should have the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just because I tried to use it like in the same component as I was defining the um, mm -hmm. as I was defining the canvas. So, but it should be okay now. I hope. Yeah, fingers maybe. Crossed. <laughs> yeah, fingers crossed. Reload the page. Cry a little bit. Hope to Jesus. <laughs> it's transpiling the modules. Oh, oh. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, yeah that's good. We're back in business. Uh, yeah, we're back in business. So now we mm -hmm. can use use frame that runs again, like around 30 times per second, to, like the kind of the 30 frames per second thing. So let's see mm -hmm. if I get the cube and I do cube that position that X equals four, for example, uh, undefining cube that curves. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, shit. It's running like one time, like 30 times per second. So it kind of like broke code sandbox oh man can we reduce it yeah <laughs> great wait let me reload the page i think i need to that's <laughs> it needs a moment yeah it this is like the problem <laughs> using stuff like use frame is that it runs like so many times that if you like screw up once and you get an error mm -hmm. then you get an error kind of like forever yeah right so that's the main recover files discard Oh, that's pretty cool. No, 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 no. It's going to give me the error again. Okay, go, 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 go. Close. Oh, there we go. Okay. So if you do that, that actually fixes it. Because the code box doesn't run it. Mm -hmm. That current, that position. And you can see it's not broken anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not. It didn't stop working, basically. Yeah. Cool. So this should just, like, move it on the X as soon as it's done. Yeah, you can see that it just moved it on the X. That's not really what we want. We want the state. So then this gets like the state of the whatever is happening. And in the state, there's like state that clock. I think it's a time, elapsed time. Then basically, there was a problem with your code. I mean, ballot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it didn't, it didn't save. Okay, now it's saved. Okay, retry. Yeah. So basically like this, what this does is that it like, how much time has it passed? I think it's in milliseconds mm -hmm. since the last update. 
And so he's just gonna like move slowly to the right, basically. So like, that's how you kind of like, you can do animation. So if I divide this by two, you're gonna move slower and stuff like that. But let's say like, I think the last thing that I wanna show is if you wanna get a model from somewhere, Mm -hmm. So, like, one place to get, like, really cool models for free is Sketchfab. Sketchfab is really good. It nice. has, like, a lot of really good stuff. Yeah. So, and a lot of them are free, and you can just, like, download them. So, let me look for a Sonic model. Let me see if that's a thing. And downloadable. And apparently, this one is... Holy crap, this one is actually real. Wait. Mario the Hedgehog. Okay, no, I'm sorry, but this needs to happen. <laughs> so let's say you want to get this weird ass model mm -hmm. that looks like it came straight out of a nightmare. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. Yeah. Um, so let's say you want to download it. So you can just download. And for example, for the web, mm -hmm. I would always use GLB. Okay. Uh, uh, I would use, use G, um, G, uh, GLTF or GLB, mm -hmm. like whatever you prefer. So the main difference is that GLB is a, like it's a binary and GLTF is a JSON. But okay. the way they do it here is that the JSON actually like links to a texture file. Mm -hmm. It's not all in the same thing. So usually from mm -hmm. Sketchfab, I get GLBs. Okay. So you can download it. And so to transform it, there is like this tool that I made at the time, which is uh, GLTF. Yeah, that's oh, right. The GLTF that this and you can drag and drop like a GLTF file and you will create a react component for it. Oh, nice. So look at it. It's so cursed. It is yep. so cursed. Wow. wow. So cursed. <laughs> I know, but I kind of love it. Do you want me to use something else? No, that's fine. Let's let's go all in on this. Let's go all in on this like cursed ass Mario. Yeah. So let's copy this. <laughs> uh so there's one thing that needs to be done. So first of all, let me copy the clipboard. I'm still kind of amazed that this website works. Mm -hmm. To this day, like I made it and I'm still amazed that it works. Wow. So <laughs> let me create a file called model.js and you can just paste whatever they gave to you. But one thing that's very important here is that this is linking to a GLB file. So whatever file, like you paste it in here, you actually still have to copy it over to the public folder or whatever okay. the main folder of your app is. Mm -hmm. So after that, you should just be able to import it. Okay. So let me comment this because otherwise it will like run and break everything. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so we should have like the normal cube in here. Maybe. Will we? Yeah. We do. Okay. And what we want to do is actually delete the cube. And we want to import the model that we have, which comes from the model folder, model, uh, whatever. And so there we go. We have the model, mm -hmm. but as you can see, it looks incredibly huge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of amazing how big it looks. Uh, come on, come on. You're making me look bad on, on, on a video. Could you? No, 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 no. That's, that just could sound like compiling stuff. Look at that. Okay. So what's happening right now is that the model is way too big for what we're doing. Uh, mm -hmm. so what we, so, oh yeah, there's one thing here. There's a lot of groups and basically groups are like divs in this kind of scenario. Okay. So a div just says, so like, there's this group that has this group that has a mesh inside of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's just like divs, like you don't. Also, like, no one writes this by hand. Yeah. It's, like, always sure generated that's... by some... Yeah, yeah, no, please don't. That sounds good. <laughs> so if I do scale and I do 0.1... Oh, sorry. 0.1. That is still way too big. 0 0.01. Look at that! It's yes. a Mario. It's a Mario. It's a very cursed Mario. Okay, yeah. so 0 0.2. Okay, that looks good. Okay, I mean, mm -hmm. it doesn't look good, but, like, you know, it looks good. Yeah. Uh, so the position... I'm going to move the position of all of them because this is like very divided. So it would make sense for me to move the position here. Mm -hmm. So I can change the position 
and make it so I think the default is always zero 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 if there's nothing so oh sorry I forgot a zero and I forgot to do this okay. oh, yeah. nice. so we want to do a minus one so that it goes down okay minus one point five oh my god I'm not used to this keyboard anymore okay that's better but mm -hmm. cursed Mario's looking the other way so we need to rotate him Mm -hmm. I don't know who made this, but God bless the person who made this. Let me like jump here. What's the name of the person who made this? Sketch fast. No, okay. Mm -hmm. Gary Storke, God bless your soul. This is <laughs> <laughs> so the rotation. Let me do like again a zero 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 so that it shows up where we want it. And then I think it's the Y that we want to do. So let's do math.py, which again is 180 so that's perfect and we have cursed mario yes it's so cursed okay <laughs> Cast shadow and it also like casts a little shadow there which is like not very good oh no mm -hmm. all of them yeah it's i don't need this because all of them already do it but yeah it's mm. um it's very cursed yes but as you can see like it works and mm -hmm. it's it, it's there so let's like rotate it around so like you can do that as well so let me actually let me move it a little bit more down even yeah something like that uh yeah something like that looks good okay anyway, so let me get the use frame thing again so use frame oh now you're importing and okay so let me get that state thing again and do does this have a ref it does not have a ref mm -hmm. okay so const first mario equals use ref and this is the UU ref and now we have a little first mario there a ref and we can do first mario that current that rotation that y equals let's try to do the same thing of state that uh clock that elapsed time and see what happens oh, and look at that nice we have a little mario yes do yes. it is so cursed okay let me divide yeah. this by two because this is actually quite fast but yeah, I think I'm going to make the background white, the color of the, you know, the little thing we have at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So if I just do white, there's also one thing that you can do in mesh physical materials. A lot of stuff like this, actually, let me put it back to what it was. And one thing that we can do that's actually pretty cool is that you can change stuff like roughness. Okay. And the roughness is like, so for example, if you have a mirror, like nothing technically has a roughness of zero, but the shinier something is, the more like the less it is rough mm -hmm. so like a table would have like from zero to one would have like a 0 0.7 for example okay. and a mirror would be like 0 0.0001 or something so if i put mm -hmm. zero here uh and i do metalness and i put one is it what something is not a something is not this mesh mesh it's not a mesh physical material. the environment is pretty incredible and it tells you that you give it an error, which makes sense. So if I go to like the, let me see if I remember, okay? So I know that you can pass a preset and the preset, let me pass apartment. And I think that works by default. Yeah. So then this like basically creates like a shadow thing. No, there's no shadow thing. So this basically creates like a, um, but there is a thing that is okay let me come here props environment props there is a pet scene ground resolution background true that's kind of what i want to show so you can do background true or you just not pass it true and then you can see that like it basically creates a like a um like it's like an hd so an hdri image is one of those images of like 360. Mm -hmm. So if I put in, uh, what's the name of that thing? It's, um, there's one that's really cool. That is Dawn. 
that looks wow. really cool yeah 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 so like you can pass a bunch of like stuff like that and then if even if you remove that you can see it mm -hmm. and like the all the models look cool with it basically mm -hmm. it's like if i put another a cube here so it's not a cube it's a uh okay there's like a rounded cube thing i'm not sure about that and you see that like the comment this okay comment like you can see that like the lighting of it looks cool mm -hmm. there's also something that is really nice that's called orbit controls and you just gotta paste it and now you can move around like that's it that's all you need to do wow you just gotta paste it yeah it's pretty incredible yes, it is. honestly i don't understand how that works but it's receive shadow and cast shadow it's pretty incredible so like if i remove this now and i bring back the model the current little model i remove mm -hmm. the background and there's also other stuff in here but like but now i can like move around mm. the background right like it looks it looks really cool yeah it's well, just a weird ass curse mario yeah it is we can can I agree on that's what <laughs> very cursed yeah so you kind of get both things it's mm -hmm. it, it, yeah it's not yeah it's it's a cool little tricky thing it's a cool little trick to make things like look better there's also one thing that you can do because it's uh so if i remove literally everything from here except the model let me comment this out actually my like thing for comment in a portuguese keyboard is command shift seven but oh. if i do command shift seven while in chrome it opens a help tab that's why i do it like a noob just wanted yeah. to clarify that I know command shortcuts. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there's there's something called a um, a stage. If I just do stage, and then I close it, so is that state? What? Why? Why did you do that to me? That was really weird. And then I paste the model in here. It just automatically creates this like little place for it to sit. Uh, for you to see how it looks so you can also add the um so you can remove i know you can remove the rotation okay so let me come here i know that you can preset oh there's also like some presets shadows intensity center you cannot remove the location oh it's like this okay uh, the rotation no there's like a rotation false i'm pretty sure of it mm -hmm. maybe there's not okay i will you'll find it it's it, it exists yes but yeah you can create little things like this and then you can just like also like copy and paste the orbit controls into here for example and then you can move it around and see and yeah so like for example if you want to change the background of this now all you need to do is go to the styles and change the background like if i want to make it aquamarine like all I have to do is change the background and you can like send this to someone. Yeah. And let's say that you want to have some text on it. Like you can also have text. Uh, so let me get this back and get this. Why is this not commented now? I can just delete it. And so you can also have like, you can, there's a tag called HTML that comes from Dre that inside of it, you can actually write HTML stuff, so then I can put an H1 that just says like it's Mario and close the H1. And then this is like somewhere here, yeah, it's here. Mm -hmm. So then you can move it. Like it's uh so if I go here and I do H1 color white with a hundred VH. So it's just like HTML basically. Like you mm -hmm. can do whatever you want with it, just do margin top uh okay it's 80 pixels or some shit like that no that's not enough 180 pixels uh and from family where is like the the default thing where you do the apple system there you go and now mm. you have a little cursed mario mm. and yeah. it's smart so, so that you know how cursed it is you can also <laughs> have like 3d lettering that it's quite easy to make it in blender like, I'm pretty sure it's quite easy for you to find a tutorial on how to do it if this is something that you would like to do. But yeah, it's 
You can also add HTML, like plain old HTML. Mm -hmm. I do think that everything by default is like a position absolute. Mm -hmm. I can check uh, view developer development tools. This, the thing doesn't work because it's a canvas. The like clicking and just showing like view developer tools doesn't work because it's a canvas. Yeah. So, that's you. something to know. Yes. So that's why I did the new boy. <laughs> Okay, cool. So if I come here, I'm pretty sure it's kind of like, I can't, oh, there we go. Yeah, so it's like, it's kind of absolute. It's, yeah, it's position absolute, as you can see. So you kind of have to like, so if I put left of zero, it kind of doesn't do anything because this div has a position of absolute. It also tells me this does not do anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, it's like position absolute. But like, you can move it around, but it's like not as easy as like one may think to move it because it's usually placed in like kind of a weird position for you to move it so like it's not it's not perfect mm -hmm. but it's quite nice to be able to like just add a, add a div right you can just add a div and an icon or something like that yeah without having to worry yourself about it yeah oh nice value so yeah i think that's about what i wanted to show like cursed mario on yes. um <laughs> On that's, the screen. I mean, yeah. that's about it. Yeah, thank you. That's amazing. You're very welcome. I am very. You're very welcome that I had. You had the pleasure of seeing. This. Yes, it, it it was really amazing. Way past all the stuff I normally do with work and everything else. Like it's actually really good to see we could do this on the web, and it's amazing how easy it was to get things moving. Yeah, thank you, Sarah. You're super welcome. Always glad to show like really cursed things from the internet. Uh, yes. my cup of tea. Yes, that's you. That's you. Uh, so, yeah, I hope but... someone learns anything from this hour. Yeah. Instead they... of, I will, uh, I feel like it's important that someone downloads mm -hmm. this and makes a game with him, mm -hmm. with this little cursed Mario, mm -hmm. because he's so cute. Yeah, it is it, really cute. cute and cursed, of course. It's we can't forget the cursed bit. Yeah, it is. So, yeah, before, before we go, like, do you have like um, anything you want to share or plug? for being my teacher for today you could plug anything you want so go for it i actually don't have anything to plug okay. i've been like so i've been traveling for a while so i've just like recently moved in mm -hmm. so i don't working on anything right now i'm thinking about doing a like a series on 3d on the web so if anyone does think that's a good idea mm -hmm. and would like to see that please do let me know i've been thinking about that for like a year Mm -hmm. And I finally like have like a place where I can do it, and I have a mic that's arriving tomorrow. I nice. Promise. Like I know the sound yeah. quality is quite crap, but yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> no I have to ship good. it from Portugal. Okay. It's, uh, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's from like... a webcam. So, <laughs> yes. yeah. It'll be nice to see you do that on like maybe Twitch live stream, like if you want, or just you know do some videos on it. It'll be cool. Yeah, I finally also have like decent internet, so I could stream things. Yeah, you and can. like the idea of like having decent internet is just like not in my brain yet. Oh no! And I think I need to like <laughs> come. Yeah, I feel like you understand this. Yeah, I it's do. Like, when you have good internet, you're gonna be like, wait, I can stream things now. Yeah, and my internet is not just gonna like you know die. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I'm still thinking about like what to do with this year that has just started. Yeah. So, <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I turned 31 and I had like, all my life is like starting again. And I'm like, what am I going to do? Uh, so I may also stream video games since I've been playing a lot of retro gaming. So I've been thinking mm. about like doing like 30 minutes of like one game a day or something like that, wow. which I think would be pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that would be cool. Like yeah. I, I've been looking forward to streaming for as long as I can remember. And like, I have this whole idea of streaming, like going through source schools and trying to make, yeah. Uh, make a sense of what's happening in there but i can't stream right now so hopefully when i move it will be fun to do that yeah i think you'll really enjoy it like mm -hmm. but yeah you do need like really good internet i remember that when i was organizing career js one time i i forgot that my internet was crap and i was like oh that's fine i'll stream the thing that's online oh no literally no one else in the house could use the internet oh my i God. remember that at the time like um my wife at the time turned on like her phone connected automatically to the internet and the stream just died like that was it oh, and i no. was like alex what have you done it was like <laughs> there was like no one could use the internet in the house only oh. this computer and 
I could tell if someone connected to it because the stream would immediately go to like 10 FPS. Oh, jeez. So yeah, you need like really yeah. good internet mm -hmm. or you need to yell at everyone in your house to just what? not use it. Like you can't touch it. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited for your future with decent internet. Yeah, I'm excited me. for mine as well. Yeah, I, I am happy for you. Like totally happy for you. Yeah, so if You're I... next. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So if I want to reach, um, reach out to you on 3D modeling or whatever, like we could yeah twitter yeah so i'm um, usually on twitter um been trying to move to mastodon but it hasn't gone according to plan uh but yeah you can find me on twitter at nikidftw with two k's mm -hmm. and yeah my dms are open so if you have any questions or if you if, if you see this and you think it would be a good idea for me to make this video course just reach out to me or something like that mm -hmm. and yeah yeah, that's, yeah thanks. That's, that's about it Thank you so oh. much. Thank you so much. You Sarah. are super welcome. Have a great day. I'm excited for you to have good internet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was really nice hanging out.